Hey, good afternoon, everybody. It's January 12th, 2017. It's coming up on 5 p.m. Justin Sparks from Inside the Polygon. I want to give you an update on what we could see as a potential winter storm coming up over the weekend and uh, some of the hazards posed to us across central India. First and foremost, here, check out the website insidethepolygon.com. Our business is primary f uh, photography based, uh, where we do all kinds of things, whether that's nature, weather, f uh, portraits, life. We had a really good time uh, working with several families this uh, fall, and we hope you check us out. Check us out inside the polygon.com. And if you're up there and you're looking for weather, if you follow over the services, the current forecast loops is where we're going to give you our current information um, with the latest timing on everything. Kind of cool to check out. But right now we want to talk about the weather. Right now, over the last couple hours, the National Weather Service has issued a winter weather advisory for counties just south of Boone County. So we're talking Indianapolis West and uh, back to our east and down south, Seymour, Vincennes in that area. Above that, from Boone County up to Kokomo and points to kind of northwest from there, we have a winter weather advisory. It's going to start tomorrow. And it's going to extend through uh, the uh, early part towards basically Sunday. So when you look at what's going to happen, there's a lot of people who have been discussing this. There's a lot of models that have discussed this. Some have been great. Some have been more challenging. And we try and look at everything we can to come up with what is a good forecast for our folks here. This is the Climate Prediction Center from the National Weather Service. We're looking at what are the hazards uh, basically today or through day three through uh, day seven. There is a chance for precipitation across the green areas, and we're looking at where the winter weather warnings are right now. And that's going to be off to our west where we think there's a very high probability where we're going to have sleet and uh, freezing rain through that. So we start looking at the models. Models are a really cool way to think about what may happen on the future, but they're numerical data models that look at all the different parameters and figure out what's going to happen. So you can't base your forecast off models. You have to look at what is, what is going to come, and what are the realities of what's occurring. If they all correlate, then maybe it's good and maybe it's not good. And so in this case, we look at all kinds of different things. Right now, this is the GFS model looking way into the horizon, but we're going to kind of keep this narrow. This model right now looks at precipitation of precipitation type. Now, understand that we are right now, it's 5 p.m. now, it's 00Z was the last model. So we have to look at the kind of the time differences that occur there. As we go forward through time, as we go through forward time, as I was saying, that uh, we start to see this ice band build up. So this tells us what we think precipitation is going to fall and in what form it's going to fall in. So across central Indiana, by early in the morning or mid-morning on Saturday, we're going to see banding, I'm sorry, banding of uh, precipitation. It's going to fall both early in the form of rain. I'm backing this up now. So this is Friday night. We're going to see the start to see the possibility of rain. As we move forward through the day, there's this narrow band of sleet or precipitation or freezing rain um, with an area that's soon to be followed on Saturday by this area of actual rain. So we look at temperatures. That right now, the earth is very cool. The atmosphere is going to be warmer than freezing. So when precipitation falls, we're going to have this opportunity for flash freezing. So as we follow this through time through Sunday, we start to see that the Main area as this uh, area starts to move up to our north, uh, to our west, and then to our northeast, we're going to see it transition to rain. So we're going to see the opportunity for some periods of freezing rain. Any rain that falls early in that is going to have the opportunity to flash freeze, which is going to be an issue as well. So in any model situation, it's important to look at all different brands and all different uh, opportunities for occurrence because everything looks at something a little bit differently based on how they're put together. So we switch over to the North American model. We look at this. The last model we looked at, we looked at continental United States. This is going to give us kind of a more timing. The NAM versus the GFS is more of a narrow period. We're looking from basically right now up to 84 hours, whereas the GFS is looking at a much broader time period. So the, the narrower the time period we get and the closer we get to occurrence, the more likely it's going to be accurate information for us. So when we start looking through this with the NAM, we start to see where right now we're Friday through midday. We see this area of precipitation, of mixed precipitation, whether that's freezing rain, sleet, or rain, is going to start actually drifting up to the north. So now, right now, we're starting to get in the middle of the afternoon on Friday. And as we get in the late afternoon, we start to see this period of mixed precipitation occurring. So right now, this is zero Z. So we're talking basically 8, 9, 10 o'clock in the evening as we move forward. And then as the night gets cooler, we're going to see a straight transition over to some more solid. So the North American model shows us an area of precipitation that's going to be mixed for several hours. Now, if you're driving during that time period, that's a problem. But right now, we're basically over the overnight hours. So as we start getting to the next day, 
with temperatures will actually increase and then we'll start to get this stuff off and maybe get a little rain off. If we have an area freezing and then we have warmer rain fall on it, there will be some slight mixing, but essentially it's going to start to work that problem off. And as we move forward in time frame, after that we should start to see all of the freezing precipitation work to the areas to our north. So let's talk about what our temperatures are going to look like over the same time period. This is essentially valid currently now as to what we see. The cold front here is extending. It's coming in from the uh, northwest. It's pushing down there and driving temperatures down. I, uh, working public safety, I had an incident around 2 o'clock early this morning. 60 degrees when I was outside cutting up a car. When I left work at 6 a.m., much cooler. And we're going to see that trend to continue to progress as we move over the night. Naturally, we're going to see nighttime diabetic heating is lost, and we're going to see the atmosphere cool. But you're going to see that the temperatures aren't rebounding up. As we're in Friday right now, this is if we looked at the, from the North American model, and this is North American temperatures, the way things are looking right now, we start to see these 32s, 33s at or near freezing um, level, Howard County, Hamilton County, Marion County. So it's going to work essentially down the classic I-70 corridor at what the surface temperatures are. So throughout the rest of the time period, we're going to see temperatures fluctuate at or above, freezing at the surface. Precipitation that falls, as long as the earth is cool, it's going to freeze. So the opportunity for freezing precipitation is valid. It is real. If you're out traveling tomorrow evening past sunset, you need to be concerned that precipitation that's falling will have the opportunity to freeze. NDOT has been very good throughout this season working on treating the roads. I would just encourage you that if you're out there when these periods when precipitation the precipitation is falling and has the opportunity to freeze, give yourself a few extra minutes. Take it slow. It's rather be late than not get there at all. First and foremost, we care about everybody we uh, talk to here. We care about uh, the general public. We want you all to be safe. We want to thank you so much for stopping by. If you get the opportunity, check us out on Facebook inside the polygon.com where it provides all of our basically real-time updates where we talk about pictures and images and stuff that we see whether well, that's lightning or forecast information as we have these different things that come up. We appreciate your business, and we thank you so much for stopping by. Have a great day.